Hey everybody, it's Chip Roy here from Texas 21, and I want to applaud Speaker Johnson for taking a large block of my Republican colleagues down to the southern border uh, to demonstrate the importance of that issue and why it's an existential threat to the safety and well-being of all Americans, but particularly Texans. Uh, frankly, and he can just shove it down the throat of the president and Alejandro Mayorkas who are trying to blame Texas and are trying to obfuscate from doing their duty. But I'm in Washington. I'm not on the trip. I've been there. I've been there dozens of times. I was on the phone yesterday with ranchers and local law enforcement, local leaders, and they all told me the same thing. Shut down the border or shut down the government. That's it. We have the tools at our disposal. Article 1, the Congress. We're supposed to check an out-of-control executive branch. Use the power of the purse to stop funding it. Because you know what? If you fund it, you own it. We have to choose whether or not we're going to fight for the people that we came to Washington to fight for. We've got to choose whether we're going to use all of this as an excuse and then campaign on the issue rather than doing what we can do right now if we choose to. I don't care if the majority's thin. A united Republican conference in the House of Representatives has the most power of anybody in this entire country. And it is this Republican conference that is the only check the only check, we are the only people in the world who can stop this president and this administration from endangering the people of our country. So my job is to be here and to get our job done for the people I represent. So I'm here working with my staff, trying to figure out every tool at our disposal to make sure that in the coming two weeks, as we head into the end of funding of government, that we stop funding the tyranny that is undermining our freedom. We stop funding a DHS at odds with our uh, security and our well-being in Texas, and that we use the power of the purse that was given to us to do our job. That's why I'm here. When my colleagues get back, I hope we will unite like we did when we passed HR2, like we did when we passed CAPS last year on the debt ceiling. When we unite, we have all the power in the world if we do our job. Thank you and God bless.